Okay, guys. So take a look at this. Conversation one. What do you want to do in the future? I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? Mm, I'd like to cook Greek food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I'd like that. Conversation two. Who would you like to meet someday? Mm, I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I'd ask him about his life. I want to know his secret to success. Oh, I'd like to know that too. He is hoping. Conversation three. Where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in the country. What would you do? I'd have a farm. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I want to grow my own food. Conversation four. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I'd like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. Okay, guys, do you understand everything? Did you get it? Did you get all the conversation? Or not? Or something? Or there are... Are there some things you didn't understand? Some vocabulary, maybe. Okay, is everything clear? Can you repeat? Can you repeat the video, please? Yes, of course. We are going to do it, to do it again. Uh, okay, this time you're gonna watch or you're gonna read the transcript. Okay, read it, please. Conversation one. What do you want to do in the future? I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? Mm, I'd like to cook Greek food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I'd like that. Conversation two. Who would you like to meet someday? Mm, I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I'd ask him about his life. I want to know his secret to success. Ooh, I'd like to know that too. He is hoping. Conversation three. Where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in the country. What would you do? I'd have a farm. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I want to grow my own food. Conversation four. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I'd like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. Okay, got it? Did you get all the vocabulary? Did you understand all the words? Check out again the vocabulary. Okay, listen one more time because now is your turn. So listen to the, listen and watch the video one more time because now it's your turn to do the dialogues. Conversation one. 
What do you want to do in the future? I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook?、Mm, I'd like to cook Greek food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I'd like that. Conversation two. Who would you like to meet someday?、Mm, I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I'd ask him about his life. I want to know his secret to success. Ooh, I'd like to know that too. He is hoping. Conversation three. Where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in the country. What would you do? I'd have a farm. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I want to grow my own food. Conversation four. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I'd like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. Okay, ready? Ready for the conversation number one? Okay, who's gonna do it? Who wants to do it? Okay, hoping. Okay, the expression is. Here's okay. Sorry. Here's hoping. When you say here's hoping, you expect that something happen, that something will happen. Yes, it's like an informal.、Um, it's an informal saying. For example. Here's hoping it doesn't rain. Here's hoping it doesn't rain. It's like you are you you don't want to rain. You yes you don't want to that rain comes. Yes. That you don't want to rain starts, but rain starts. So you say, "Here's hoping it doesn't rain." That is the meaning of that. Okay, so who's who's gonna be first? Who's gonna be first? I need two people. I need two people to make the dialogues. The first dialogue. It featured me. Okay, and who else? Who's gonna be with John? Gloria, what about you, Gloria? Uh, okay. Um, what do you want to do in the future? Future. 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 Future.、Mm. It's like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. Okay. Wait a minute. What? Okay. Sorry. Sorry, John. Wait a minute, please. Okay, Gloria. Okay, remember. Okay. Eh, mientras que yo les explico el tema de micrófonos, por favor. Okay. Okay, Gloria, remember, I would equals to I. Oh, sorry, I. So the pronunciation is I, I. Remember the pronoun is I, with the D, I. So we make the contraction. 
Normally, we don't say I would like. Yes, it's OK. It is possible to say it. But in normal, in informal speech, or when we talk, it sounds more natural to say I. Yes? So, I'd like to be a, a chef. I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. My own restaurant. Okay, good. Continue, John and Gloria, please. I I like to be a chef. I want to have my one rest on on restaurant 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 okay. Eh, pero okay. Yes, continue, of course. Okay. What I can of food would you like to cook? Okay, what kind? kind. What kind what? of what kind of food? What kind of food would you like to cook? I I like to cook great food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I like that. Okay, I like that. That. I remember like that, that the sound here, the sound of this th is that that yeah yeah okay i want to show you one word one definition here because this is one of the words this, this is one of the most difficult words uh, to be pronounced in english yes look We have two, four, six, eight, ten one letters, ten letters, and we only have two, four, six, eight phonetic symbols. So listen. Restaurant. Restaurant. Okay, this one, restaurant. 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 Yes. Restaurant. Restaurant. Yes. And this one. Okay, look at the symbol here. Look, this symbol. That. That 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 yes that is the pronunciation got it okay very well very good well done okay next who is next who's gonna be next Okay, Sergio is having trouble with the with the screen. Okay, who's next? I'm waiting for uh, the volunteers. Two. Teacher, me. Okay, who are you? Tell me your name, please. Miguel. 
Miguel, okay, Miguel, do it. Again, who's going to be the partner? Who's going to be Miguel's partner? Okay, Elizabeth, you're gonna be Miguel's partner. Is Elizabeth there? Is Elizabeth there? Okay, no, she's not there. Okay, Maria Camila, it doesn't have a microphone. Uh, okay, who else is here? Ah, oh, we only have seven people here now. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be your partner. Okay, please go, go ahead, start, please. Well, would you like to meet someday? I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I'd ask him about his life. I want to know his secrets to success. I'd like to know that too. Here's hoping. Okay, good. Very good. So who, who would you like? Okay, guys, so sometimes would you, would you, sounds like would you, would you. So who would you like to meet someday? Yeah, sometimes you can hear como, um, algo así como would you, would you. Or what you, what you, what you. Uh, that is called CH sound. Okay, that is called CH sound. And it, it is present when you have this combination. What you, or in this case, would you. What you would you? Yeah, that happens. Okay, now number three, conversation number three. Okay, let me see if the if people has arrived. More more people. Okay, Sergio. Danny and Felipe. Yes. Okay, number three, please. Where would you like to live in the future? I like to live in the country. What would you do? I have a farm. That would be fun. Yeah, I want to grow my own food. Okay, guys. Good. Okay, some uh, advice here. You say would. The L doesn't sound. The L doesn't sound. Remember, you say would. Look, would. Look, would. 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 Yes, would. So the L doesn't sound. And what else? Okay, teacher. La life, no, leave. So where would you, where would you like, sorry. Where would you like to live in the future? Sure. In the future. 
So the pronunciation of words that have this ending is very important. It is very important to know how to pronounce these words. So future, culture, agriculture, nature. Yeah, what else? Give me other examples. Give me more examples of words with that ending. Do you know more examples with that ending? A teacher the structure. Structure. Yes, of course, structure. Mature, yes. Architecture. Yes, we have many words. We're gonna see a video about that. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so who's next? Sergio, would you like to do it? Sergio, can you watch the screen now? Can you see the screen now? Okay, I think Sergio it doesn't have a, a good connection. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do it with who, who else? Who wants to do it? Wants to do the dialogue with me. I am waiting. I'm waiting for my partner. Okay, Gloria, you you will do it again. Yes. Okay, what would you like to drink? I like I I like and it said tea, please. Okay, Gloria. I I'd like I like, I like ka, and so we connect here the k the the sound k sound here with the a. So I like ka, and this sound of the n here we connect it with this here. I like a nice, I like a nice tea, like a nice tea. So iced, we have the T sound, and here we have the T sound too. So we say, I like a nice tea place. I like a nice tea place. I like a nice tea place. Okay, much better. Okay, do you want sugar with that? No, but I like lemon. No, but I like some lemon. Okay, good. Okay, uh, would you like a straw? No, thank you. No, thanks. No. Okay, very good. Very good. Well done. What is the meaning? Well done. Straw. Straw. Straw is un pitillo. Straw. The pronunciation is straw. Look.
straw. Straw is this. Stems of wheat or other grain plants that have been cut and dried. Straw is used for making mats or packing things to, pro to protect them and as well for animals or for them to sleep on. Entonces, straw tiene dos definiciones, normalmente dos, pero hay más. Y es, la primera es paja. Sí, es decir, cuando tenemos el, eh, el trigo o otros, otros granos, otras plantas que son gramíneas, se secan y sirven para hacer, por ejemplo, para hacer eh, esterillas o hacer esteras, sombreros, por ejemplo, un sombrero de paja, ¿cierto? O para empacar cosas o como alimento para, para los animales o para que duerman los animales. Y el otro es este. Bueno, vamos a mirar este otro, este. A thin, a thin tube of plastic or paper that you drink a liquid through. Ese es el itillo, que ese es el, en el contexto que estábamos, es esta definición. También se le dice drinking straw. Drinking straw. O simplemente straw. Y mira la pronunciación acá. Straw. 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 Five letters, but the four, but four letters here, the pronunciation. Straw. The, that is the definition, Gloria. Straw. Okay, so the grammar. Let's let's take a look at the grammar here. Okay, would like to and want to. Point one. Use both. Would like uh, would like to plus verb, and want to plus verb, to express desires. So when you desire something, when you uh, want something, you use this. Examples, I would like to buy a new car. I want to buy a new car. I'd like to travel overseas. I want to travel overseas. Yes. Okay, point number two. Okay, we we'll have a question here. Oh, okay, Gloria, thanks. Okay. My, uh, Camila still having problems with the microphone. Okay, no problem. Okay, number uh, point two. Use both structures to make questions. Okay, so for making questions, we can use both. Would or what? So would, would you like, okay, would. What would you like to eat? That is more polite. What do you want to eat? Would you like some coffee? Do you want some coffee? So what is the difference? The difference is that would is more polite. More polite. Acuérdense que more polite significa más educado. Polite es educado. More polite, más educado. So what is more informal? It's more informal to use what? Okay, point three. Use both structures to make affirmative statements. Examples. I would like to sit down. I would like to sit down. More polite. Or I want to sit down. I'd like to live more polite or I want to live. Imagine uh, that you are in a place 
but you are tired and you want to go to your bed. Yes. So if you are, if you know the person, if you, mm, if you know the people, you say, I want to live. Or in, in, uh, in other situations, you use I. I'd like to live. Okay, point four. Usually speakers only use one, two plus verb in negative statements. Example, I don't want to watch TV. I don't want to study. She doesn't want to or here. They don't want to go out. Yes, negative statements. Okay, point five. In yes, no questions. The auxiliary verb must match the question form. Examples. Would you like to have a pet? Would you like to have a pet? Yes, I would. Or no, I wouldn't. Okay, do you want a pet? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes? Okay, so that is the grammar. Okay, now let's take a look at the quiz. Okay, five minutes to answer the quiz, to answer the questions accordingly to the video, yes? Okay, five minutes. Five minutes at home, uh, do it in your notebooks. And five minutes, we will check it out, okay?
Okay, got it? Okay, let's check it out. Okay, conversation one. What does she want to do? On a business or go to cooking school? Go to cooking school. Go to cooking school, okay. Okay, I have an additional question for that one. What kind of food is she going to cook? What kind of food is she going to cook? Uh, Greek food. Greek food, very good. Greek food, excellent. Greek food, good. Okay, remember that Greek must be with capital letter. Yes, Greek. Okay, very good, excellent. Number two, in conversation two, uh, teacher, who would you like to meet? I think okay, the, I think the answer of the first question is the A. Yeah, really? Yes. Go, go to cooking school or on a business? On a business. Okay, which? On a business. Okay, who else? Who else wants to answer? Who else wants to give an answer? Or who? Okay, who else thinks the option is A? On a business. Okay, vote. Who wants to vote for A? Okay, who says is A? Okay, Gloria said A. Okay, so we have two, two votes for that one. Okay, number two. Who will she like to meet? Her family or a famous person? A famous person. A famous person. Good. Okay, number three. In conversation three, what does she want to do? Have a garden or build a house? Uh, they shall build the house. Yeah, really? Okay, do you agree with John? I think uh, have a garden. Sorry? I think uh, uh, the answer is to have a garden. Okay, the answer. The answer is have a garden. Okay, we have, uh, we have here two people that think one says A and the other one ha the other one says B. So who wants to vote? A or B? Okay, Danny says B. Okay. So B. Okay, do we have more opinions? 
No. Okay, let's continue. We will check out at the end. Okay, in conversation four, what would, what would she like in her tea? Sugar or lemon? Lemon. 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 Okay, lemon. Okay, let's take the answers. Okay, in conversation three, it's incorrect. Yes, it was a have a garden. A, have a garden. Yeah, remember that she wants to live in the country. Yeah, she wants to live in the country. So she wants to have a garden. Yeah, very good, excellent. Okay, guys, now we will, we will watch this page. This page is about the news. So I want you to pick up a uh, news from here. Yes. And then we will check it out. So which one do you want? One year ago, dangerous Egyptian haircut. Hot years, buzz in forest, fishermen catch a big fish, Indian China fight, Brazil crisis, cleaner future, housing Swiss cheese, coronavirus and blood type. Which one? Which one do you prefer? Gloria, sorry, but I, I, I can hear you very well. Can you repeat, please? Journalist has problems. Okay. Okay, so pay attention to this. I read, read the um, transcript. This is level one. Then we will pass to level two and three. Maria Ressa is a journalist. She is born in the Philippines in 1963. She moves to the U.S. with her mother. Ressa studies at Princeton University. She works for CNN for almost 20 years. Ressa starts a news website. On her website, she writes unpleasant things about the Philippines president. In 2012, Ressa writes an article about a businessman. The businessman is very rich. He knows many government officials. It is possible that the businessman has problems with drugs and a murder. This week, a court in the Philippines sends Ressa to prison. The court says that what Ressa writes is not true. However, some people believe that the Philippines wants to ruin Ressa's work. Okay, how much did you understand? Did you understand everything? Did you understand all the vocabulary? Okay, here we have some difficult words. Like uh, unpleasant. Word. Tell me. What is the meaning of unpleasant? Okay, unpleasant. Unpleasant, not nice. Not nice. When you say unpleasant, it's something that is no good. Something that is disgusting, maybe. 
Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so look, many words have this prefix. This is a prefix, on. Uh, uh, in English, we have many words like that. For example, happy. You say happy. It has a meaning. It has a positive meaning. But when you say unhappy, it has a negative meaning. Yet the same happens with pleasant. Let me show you here. When you say pleasant, is an adjective, is an adjective, sorry. And is fun, attractive, or giving pleasure. For example, a pleasant evening, a pleasant atmosphere, a pleasant walk, smell, scent. Yes, but if you use this prefix, the meaning changes into something negative. Look, no pleasant or comfortable. For example, an unpleasant experience, an unpleasant surprise or task. Yes, that is unpleasant is not uh, not nice. It's something uh, uh, that is uncomfortable, for example. Yeah, do you, do you have any more questions? What is the meaning of uh, however? Okay, however uh, significa sin embargo in Spanish. We say however. Okay. When, when you use however, uh, when, when you use however, you are saying that the things that you mentioned before can change. Yeah, let me show you here. Yeah, however is an adverb. Yes, look. Used to introduce a statement that contrasts with something that has just been said. Example, he was feeling bad. He went to work, however, and tried to concentrate. We thought the figures were correct. However, we have now discovered some errors. Entonces, however, se traduce como sin embargo. Pues, más o menos, sin embargo, es como una, el equivalente. Okay, who else have questions? Okay, guys, so that is part one, level one. So now listen to level two. Here is more complete. Yeah, the news here is more complete, listen. Maria Ressa is a Filipino-American journalist who grew up and studied in the U.S. in 2018. The Times named her Person of the Year for her work in journalism. Ressa founded a new site where she openly criticized the Philippine president, Rodrigo Duterte. In 2012, Ressa and her colleague wrote an article about a rich businessman, and they linked him to murder and drug dealing. This week, a court in Manila, the capital city of the Philippines, found Ressa guilty of libel, and it sent her to prison for six years. However, the court used a law that did not exist in 2012. 
human rights organizations do not agree with the verdict, and they say that the verdict attacks the free press. Okay, got it? See that here is more complete. Look that here, level one, they say she's born in the Philippines. But in the second, they say that she is a Filipino American journalist. The, now, so here you have more information. Now the information here is more complete. And in level three is more complete. Filipino American journalist, yes, look at that. It begins with a different point of view. And it has more vocabulary. Yes, it has more vocabulary. So I will, I will put this in. Um, all the material that we studied today in the platform, on the platform, yes? I will do that maybe tomorrow because the platform, uh, I, I am working on it. But uh, So maybe tomorrow I will upload uh, the material and the class. Yes, okay, guys, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay, so tomorrow I will give you an activity to do. I will put it on the platform. Yes? Okay, guys, have a nice weekend.